Anthony coming to you live from this shed right now and I've got something to show you guys and I want you to be the first to see it so let me just show you what I got here aha this is a 1500 watt continuous power pure sine wave output for high-end electronic equipment operation this is a pure <coughs> excuse me sine wave inverter and um, I'm going to unbox it right now and show you guys what I have inside this is indeed a new ed addition to my solar shed as you know I currently have that little inverter right there little, little smart UPS 700 and I'm gonna actually try out this brand new um, inverter and the reason why I went to a 1500 watt inverter is because I need some more power in my shed. Um, I have a shop vac, a bigger shop vac, uh, which takes about 1200 watts and um, you know I need more power to run that one. So, and also, also some other tools as well that I need to run on this inverter. This little inverter works great with my smaller shop vac which I showed you previously in a previous video. So. Enough talking, let's see what we have inside the box. Alright, let's uncover what we have here. Ah, sweet looking. Yep, it's like getting something for Christmas, you know. Let's just pull this out of the box. Check that out, guys. Check that out. It says Coltec Pure Sine Wave Inverter. So I'm going to pull this out of the box right now. There she sits, guys. This is indeed my new inverter. And I can't wait to try it out. I'm still waiting on some two gauge cable. I currently have some six gauge cables in my shed right now which is not big enough for this inverter. This inverter calls for at least a four gauge cable but I plan to use a two gauge cable. But just for testing I'm going to go ahead and test it with this six gauge cable and um, hopefully everything will go well. I probably won't put a big load on it um, this inverter pulls about 100 watts, actually 100 amps, excuse me, 1500 watts. So I need at least a 4 gauge cable to really efficiently use with this inverter. But for right now, because all I have is a 6 gauge cable, it will have to work for my testing right now. So this is what came with the inverter. And um, just some instructions. Let's see what we have here. It has different models listed in, in the little um, instruction instructional manual that came with it. And um, I actually have this one right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me try and zoom in. Focus. Come on, focus. Just trying to get the focus. There we go. I've got this one right here. So this is a SK 1500-124. This is a 24 volt inverter. And I'm um, just looking at the specs for this inverter. And um, it says efficiency at full load max is indeed a whopping 94%. Okay. And it says pure sine wave. And the THD on this one is less than 3%. Hmm. Very impressive indeed. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it's if this is really true. And uh, let's check it out uh, here. So as you can see, um, it's recommending that you use a 100 amp fuse with this inverter. 
so yeah it's looking pretty good so far and um, I'm gonna test it and see what happens guys uh, hopefully it will work well and um, you'll be the first to see it and uh, we'll just see what happens here as I try out this new inverter in my solar shed I still plan to keep my little um, 450 watts APC UPS because it's, it's just a very good unit and um, this bigger inverter will just help me to run bigger loads as well so yeah so far everything looks good um, just the specs I won't go over all the specs with you I don't want to bore you but let's just give it a test and see what we have right here so um, what I'll do right now I'm just gonna hook up the wires well I'm gonna show you a couple of things that's the, the input right there for um, the battery cables um, there's also a ground wire connection it also has a remote port connection where you can actually put a monitor here to monitor the amps and so on and so forth and let's see the front of the inverter let me try and move it I don't have my son to help me on the camera so I'm trying to do it with one hand let me just get the front part focused for you guys here we go that's the front that's a couple dip switches here see right there this indicator lights so I'm just gonna hook it up right now and give it a test and see what we have okay we're back well the initial wiring of the battery to the inverter is complete and that's it right there guys it's looking pretty good so you'll be the first to see when I power on this Kotec pure sine wave inverter 1500 watts of power so I'm gonna re uh, replace the battery lid right now um, that is the lid for the, the battery case and we now turn our attention to the Kotec inverter so you'll be the first to see what happens when I push this power switch it's kinda dark right now but we should see some light right now here we go guys alright there you go the Kotec inverter guys the action is on right now and uh, if you look at my battery voltage up there, it's saying 25.2 volts in my batteries right now. And the Kotec inverter is in action right now. So it's time for some test. I'm going to um, plug my, my little watt meter inside this Kotec inverter to see what kind of um, frequency we're putting out. It should be putting out actually 60 hertz, but just let's just verify that right now. Okay, guys, here we go. We're actually putting out 120 volts out of this little Kotec converter. So that's pretty good, um, 120.4 volts. So let's see what the wattage is. And the inverter is actually drawing just really no watts right now Where your shoes at? it's point zero one watts right now it's being drawn right now so let's look at the Hertz um, it's 59.9 Hertz which is 60 Hertz if we round it off the amp draw is actually it's drawing about 7 amps being powered on right now actually I'm wrong it's point 07 amps is being drawn by this inverter right now so this is very good um, the inverter is doing nothing right now it's just connected to my 24 volt battery bank and uh, I'm gonna put a load test on this inverter right now and just see what the draw is gonna be okay now I do have a load on this inverter actually um, the, the light in my shed and it's drawing about 0.15 amps so very decent I mean um, everything looks to be good so far and uh, let's see what the wattage is 